Hello everyone, Aaron here and welcome back to Leak Code. Today we are doing the maximum length of a concatenated string with unique characters problem. You are given an array of strings R. A string S is formed by the concatenation of a subsequence of R that has unique characters. Return the maximum possible length of S. A subsequence is an array that can be derived from another array by deleting some or no elements without changing the order of the remaining elements. So, yun, ik, yui, they're all of size one subsequence. I could take the yun and the ik, or the ik and the yui, or the yun and the yui. They're all valid subsequences. And of course, unique is a valid subsequence. Now, we couldn't, in this puzzle, actually take all three because the U here is shared between the UN and the UE. So, that would result in something that doesn't have for all unique letters. Here we've got CHA, R. Well, we can't do the CHA and the ACT. You can't do the R and the ERS. Chars, I guess, or actors. Yes, yeah, yeah, that's exactly what it's saying. Chars or actors. Okay. And no matter which way you do that, that's six, that's six letters long, so the answer is six. Here we just have one big chunk um, when it's 26 letters long. Do we know? Mm. I'm just thinking, do we know that each chunk we are given has unique letters in it? So for example, if they gave me AA, that feels a bit mean, but I guess uh, we'll probably have to handle that. So, uh, okay, um, I've got two things on the brain. <laughs> One is this feels a bit like a dynamic programming. <clears throat> dynamic programming exercise so that's your kind of uh, traditionally it's kind of you set up a table um and, and uh, you've sort of got one axis and another axis and you sort of got to try and fill in your grid in some way with a sort of recursive formula um the other way of viewing this i'm thinking but potentially rejecting in my head is that this is a graph problem because one way you can do this is you can think, well, um, can I group these by their shared letters and then know I can only take one thing from each group? Um, hmm, probably not, because that sort of ends up as a disjoint set, but they're not necessarily disjoint, because if I have, so here, the R and the Rs need to go in a set together and the act and the char need to go in a set together and those ones are disjoint actually um, but it's easy to imagine a, a setup of strings where they're not disjoint you've got you've got um, the string a r t art on the end um, and that would need to sit in several different sets and they're no longer disjoint and yuck uh, so no i think i want to go with the dynamic programming problem um, so the question becomes how can i set up this dynamic programming problem um so if i sort of think about this as along the top i'm going to have say un eek ui and this is kind of one part of my problem. And how can I set this up? My choices for each one are, so as I'm running along, I can take it. Uh, what do I want to do here? Maybe this is more of a backtracking problem, but I don't want to do a full backtrack because the backtrack is expensive. It's exponential. Um, 
I can take it. I can take it. I cannot take it. On the next run. No, no, what I want to do here. I can extend the string I'm looking at. Let's start them all zeros. Okay, no, let's just start them all by themselves. On the next run, well, let's have a, a zero column here as well. I can either take it or skip it. And I'm better off taking it. It doesn't break any rules. On this one here, I can take it or skip it. And I'm better off taking it. Here, I can take it or skip it, but I'm forced to skip it. Uh, what are my options here? So I'm just trying to work out what I'm doing. So if I'm filling in, let's get rid of these. I, I don't like having these in. If I, so let's say I've got this column of zeros and this one here is just telling me all of the characters. Um, if I'm trying to fill in this cell here, what am I doing? Maybe that has to always be a two. Let's get rid of those. Let's try this one here. I can either just take the IQ or I can take the un IQ and IQ. So, so what do these numbers represent here? So this is the length of this string. This is the length of this string and this is the length of this string. This one here is the length of this string. This one here is the length of this string and this string. So this is four. And this one here is I, Q, and U, E. So that is also four. And then if I go through again, this is two. Now, how can I make sure this is a... Ah, maybe it's not. Maybe it's that plus one of those. No, because it's that plus one of those. That would be, oh, that would be a six, but I cannot. That has to drop back down to a four. This one is invalid to take. Ah, so what I should also be marking here is not just the length of it, but also the um, I'm going to need some more space here, aren't I? <laughs> Let's space these out here. So, so this is 2 with UN. This one is 2 with IQ. And this one is going to be 2 with UE. This one here is going to be again 2 with UN. This one is going to be 4 with UNIQ and this one here would try to be a 6 with UNIQ UE but that involves a duplicate so it has to reject back to a 4 of IQ UE because it's trying to glue this onto one of those and this one doing this combination broke the rules so this one here is a 2 with a UN again um, where, how long does that one go? UN. Trying to add a unique onto a... Ah, I can't 
start I have to start a particular distance in each time I can only fill this upper triangle is that correct I'm just trying to work out what the exact recursion is here I'm going around in circles and I'm not being very articulate um, I'm real dog's ear of this to be quite, dog's dinner of it to be quite honest. Um, a pig's ear or a dog's dinner, and I decided to go for a dog's ear. Um, I just want to avoid. So here I'm thinking this is also going to fail. This is going to be a full. I should be able to somehow test U N U E and reject it, but I don't know how. Oh. Maybe that's what I need to do. So when I'm doing this row here, I can look up and anything to the left. And that's still the best I can do is UN. And here what I want to do, I can look at the IQ and I can concatenate with anything before it. So UN IQ four. And here I can do the UE with UN UE, not allowed to do, I can do it with U N I uh, I Q U E and I can do that I Q U E here again I'm stuck with two U N here again I'm stuck with four U N I Q because I can attach the I Q on the end of anything above. Is that done? Why why can I not? Oh, because this one Yeah, so this is the one here or I would so this one would be uh U N U E gets rejected. And this one here would try a six U N I Q U E and reject it because it's looking for everything above it that it can combine the U E with. Maybe that's the recursion. What is that? That's N cubed, something like that. That's not terrible. Is there any bound requirements? They're pretty small. Um, so what's the actual recursion I was doing there? To fill in T I J where this was um how do I want to do this? I is the column, J is the so it's I J is equal to if i equals zero um t i j is len r j if j is equal to zero T I J is Len R I. Uh, no, in fact, it's zero. <laughs> um, because it's always just that top one. So then T I 
j is equal to the max of all i um, k, k less than j of t i minus 1 k plus len r j um, where condition where uniqueness is okay where uniqueness is satisfied Holy moly, I think that is our dynamic equation, dynamic programming equation. Whew. If that is true, the problem is now easy. <laughs> and I know that doesn't quite seem like it, but this defines how to fill in this table. So this one here, it's not uni, so, it, um, so it's four. And so then it's going to go back to um, zero. No, two UE. Yeah, it, that devolves back to a two UE. Or in fact, empty. Maybe just call that zero. Um, so what I really want is I need a table, which is um, zero, uh, the singleton list containing zero times the len of R. Uh, how many times do I need to repeat this? I guess up to, yeah, four in, in range len R. Um, for i in range len r table. So I want to set everything along the top. Table zero i is equal to len r i. Actually, I'm going to call this j just so it matches that pseudo code. And I also want to do table J um, zero is equal to len R zero. Do I want to store, I'm actually going to make these not just a number, I'm going to make them a, a set as well. So this now is going to be the set of R, J, and this one here is going to be the set of R, zero. Ooh, I hope that works actually, I just had a sudden question mark about what Python does on a string when applied to set. I think it turns into a set of characters. Um, if len set. Uh, okay, so there's a little question mark I'm doing here, which is. So we might need to check if any element has repeated characters. So if they gave me AA, as I was saying earlier, that could be a problem. Um, so that's our initial setup. So then for, I want to do the rows, which is for row in range one, plan R 
for call, in fact, we'll call this I and J again. I, J, in a range, fingers on the keyboard in the right place, len R, table I, J, is equal to, um, Best len is equal to zero. Best set is equal to the empty set. For k in range zero through to j. Uh, no, hang on. So this is going to go to best lamb, best set, obviously. Um, but the K here is the length we're testing is table I minus one. K plus uh, call that prev is um, uh, prev len prev set. I might make these frozen sets actually. So what I want to do now is if any C in R K oh no C sorry C in prev set for C in R J. If we have seen this character before in the ones we're trying to extend, don't bother. We cannot. Otherwise, we need to check. If prev len plus len R J is less than um, best len. Best len is prev len plus len R J. Um, best set is Rev set union. I think I can do this with the handy syntax of um, frozen set RJ. I think that's good. So then that gets set, and then at the end. Return max L for row in table for L ignore in row. Um, I could probably keep track of this as I was going through with a very, uh, actually let's do that. Very best len zero. Very best set is frozen. Uh, I, I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. Um, if best len is less than the very best len, 
very best plan is best plan. Return very best plan. Whew. Again, that wasn't too hard once we had this. Um, this is just building that table that we did. This is setting up the boundary condition. So everything along the top is going to be just its, its position. Everything down here, oops, everything. Whoa, I don't know what I did there. Everything down this column is going to be uh, just this first thing repeated. And then we need to start filling in the table. So starting here. Um, I can look at the un and add an eek to it, so I get an unique. And then going here, I can add an un and a ue, but that's going to fail. And I can do an un and an, uh, I can do an eek and a ue, and that succeeds. So I get a four. And then this one here, this one here is again an un unique. And this one here, we would try a unique. That doesn't work. Um, so none of them works. So that ends up in a zero. And we kept track of as we were going through the very best length we found was a four. Whew. Let's let's try it. Output zero. What? Hang on. Show me what's in the table. Oh. I need to go the other way with my starting condition. <laughs> there we go. That's better. Um, so we can see here the table has two, 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 two across the top. Yun, i, k, and then we've got the yun, yun, unique, and also equa. And then here we're trying to do the frozen set un, and so that stays the same. That's that one. Then frozen set cute. That's the unique again. And this one here is empty. Uh, so not zero, but inf. Um, oh, hang on. I have that the wrong way round, don't I? I did want that to be a zero. And I did want that to be a zero. I just got my test the wrong way around. I was minimizing rather than maximizing for some reason. Why is this so slow? That's not good. What did I change? Just change the order those signs go and those numbers. Why is it it's stuck in a loop? But where's the loop? Every loop is bounded. Oops. Oh, it succeeded, didn't it? That did not take 47 milliseconds. Um, use example test cases. Let's do it without the print. That's not the problem, but just in case. Okay, we're back. Hello. It looked like my uh, internet had died, so I was blaming LeetCode for being very slow, and I've hopefully edited all that out, but I'm back now. So, long story short, um, I can get rid of that. It's been restored. Um, use example test cases. Run code. Wrong answer. Okay, this is why we run these tests. 26 output zero. Why does it think ABCD in what? No, hang on.
Maybe that's what I need to do. Oh, that's what it is. Max table zero uh, J zero for J in range L and R. Um, yeah. That'll do it. Um, I don't need to print the table anymore. So the bug there was basically us saying, oh, is it zero? But with this guy here, I start at one and one, and I never actually finished checking the rest of the table. So my very best should have been assumed to be the best of all the things I filled in by default. So with those in place, I think we're good. Uh, there's this little to do, but Ah, you see, there's a, there's this little trap, this little trap. Um, so, if len r j is equal to len set r j, um, Uh, else table zero j is zero frozen uh, no in fact that by default that gets filled in and I'm gonna be lazy I'm going to check this every single time which you shouldn't do um, but hey I'm going to Give me that test case. Let's add it in here. See if we pass it now. We do not. Four, six, twenty-six, two, four, six. What? Oh, hang on. Oh, I'm doing len r j when I should be doing table zero j zero table zero j zero. So I already calculated the length and its setness. So this is table zero j one. There we go. Um, so here I was automatically reaching back into here and trying to fix this. One other way I could do this is just, in fact, it's probably better. Um, rather than actually, no, I'm gonna I'm gonna do do a different change completely. Leave those how they are, and here I'm gonna go here. R is equal to S for S in R if len S equals len set S. So this len S, len set S basically is if you keep only the unique things in the string, um, do you, uh, is it still the same length? And obviously that means if you kept only the unique things and it's still the same length, everything was originally unique. So that's fine. What this will do is it will completely empty this array. And what that will, oops, max of an empty sequence. If R is empty, return zero. There we go. Just need to add that little check there because it, max doesn't handle that. It's probably a way to do a default max value, which is 
I, I don't know it off the top of my head in Python. Um, but yeah, I'm going to keep these just because it's it, it doesn't make it worse, basically. Um, let's try again. There we go. Now I would crow about this 99% amazing, but as we've seen before, that means nothing. This 64 millisecond runtime is entirely within the window of error. Um, so, hey, all we can say is this is a solution. Almost all the difficulty was in getting this um, case, uh, this, this recursion sorted. Then it was handling an edge case, which we kind of knew about from the beginning, but chose to hope that they weren't going to test. Sure enough, they tested it. Um, but yeah, fairly standard dynamic programming algorithm. Quite a cool wee problem. I hope you gave it a go. Um, that's it from me. Do remember to like, comment, subscribe, all of that good stuff. Do let me know down in the comments what you like, what you didn't, if you've managed to do this problem, what else you want to see from the channel, all of that kind of stuff. Um, but I will see you next time. Bye.